Hello, I'm Michael Good, CEO of the University of Utah Health, presenting the COVID-19 update for August 31st, 2021. Uh, and unfortunately, our report today sees uh, predominantly increasing trends in the different measures that we follow uh, related to the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, in the United States, uh, as you can see, uh, we've continued to have increasing numbers of new cases each day. The rate of rise slowing down a little bit here in the last few days, but clearly an upward trend and, and starting to get back into the areas, the, the ranges of some of the peaks that we saw in uh, late calendar 2020 and early calendar 2021. Similarly, the death rate has been climbing at the national level, uh, perhaps leveling off just a bit or a slower a rate of rise, but continuing spread of the coronavirus throughout our country. Uh, and the same true uh, here in the, in the state of Utah. Uh, we see this continuing increase where each day we have more and more new cases of coronavirus uh, reported. And similarly, now after a long period of time where the death rate had not been increasing, uh, we now see an increasing death rate where on many days having uh, five, six, or seven deaths reported uh, from coronavirus. So trends uh, not moving uh, in the correct direction. If we have more cases, uh, we have more active infection. So uh, now we're uh, back up to we're about one in 100 and approximately 40 Utahns, one out of 140 Utahns uh, have an active case of a coronavirus infection. They may not feel symptomatic, they may not know it, uh, but they are testing positive, meaning they're harboring the virus. Uh, this has increased quite a bit from uh, levels that we had gotten to uh, during the periods of the pandemic where uh, the number of infected individuals had been quite a bit lower, one out of 600. So that means right now we have about 23,000 Utahns uh, with a positive coronavirus uh, infection. This, uh, all of these statistics point to that the virus real-time reproductive number is greater than one. And we've now, uh, unfortunately, have had quite a period of time where the, uh, remember this second year of the pandemic is this darker uh, color red. And you can see for the whole area I've marked, the reproductive number has been greater than one. That means each person who has coronavirus spreads it to more than one other individual. Overlaid on the orange line, which is the reproductive number from last year at this time, and you can see this was a period of time last year when the virus was actually reseeding, where uh, each individual was spreading it to fewer than one other individual. So we clearly have challenges right now with predominantly the Delta variant of coronavirus spreading uh, at an increasing rate in our community, both uh, national, state, and locally. If we have more individuals with coronavirus, we have more individuals getting uh, hospitalized. And you can see this is perhaps one of the more worrisome trends that we look at today. Since uh, about the beginning of June, we've seen this rapid increase in the number of Utahns in Utah hospitals uh, with COVID now uh, above 450, approaching 500 on a seven-day average. Uh, about 180 to 190 uh, of those individuals are in intensive care units. Uh, and we're, you know, uh, this chart shows the number of new daily hospitalizations, uh, which is uh, uh, beginning to approach uh, 50 uh, individuals each day admitted to, uh, to a hospital. Uh, in Utah with coronavirus. Remember the horizontal bars underneath are the, uh, the darker bars are PCR, uh, the lighter bars are antigen tests, uh, but uh, we're getting now to where our seven day uh, running average is over uh, a thousand new cases each day uh, of coronavirus. So again, all the trends increasing, uh, uh, meaning the virus is spreading more rapidly that's uh, causing more hospitalizations uh, and more deaths. The 
positivity rate, although high, 15% in the people over people method, uh, about 11% or so in the test over test method. Both lines, although there's some up and down day-to-day uh, uh, -day variation, more or less stable uh, for uh, the last uh, couple of months here, about the uh, last month, uh, you can see, again, taking out the up and down variation, uh, leveling off from these steep increases uh, that we had seen in the prior two months. So hopefully that leveling off uh, positive rate uh, is a sign, but we actually need it to come down for us to get this virus spread uh, turned around. So uh, a new element of the Delta variant and the fact that vaccines are not yet available for those uh, under the age of 15, we're keeping an eye on the one to 14 year olds. The blue line is uh, the positive cases, seven day average of COVID cases in one to 14 year olds in 2020 and now in 2021. And you can see here uh, the month of August saw a substantial uh, increase. It actually had probably started back here uh, in June and July, but really accelerated into August uh, with the uh, number and proportion of the positive cases being in the one to 14 uh, year olds. A trend or a, a reality that we see in all of the, uh, the positive cases in the hospitalizations um, and in the deaths is this differentiation between those that are unvaccinated and those that are fully vaccinated. In this chart, we show the number of new coronavirus cases adjusted by population by vaccination status. And you can see that it's really been the unvaccinated individuals which have gone from uh, about 15 uh, or so cases per 100,000 now up approaching 65 cases per 100,000, whereas the vaccinated group, although there has been an increase as there's more and more virus circulating, um, not quite level, but certainly you can see a very different slope for the vaccinated number of new cases still hovering in that 10 to 15 range. So vaccinated individuals hovering in a 10 to 15 per 100,000 uh, unvaccinated starting back there in June at that level, but now uh, again up to 65 with a, with a very steep trajectory on the increases. The vast major majority of new cases are in unvaccinated individuals, and certainly that's what we're seeing in the hospital. The vast majority of COVID-19 patients that are hospitalized are unvaccinated. So the importance of vaccination uh, cannot be stressed enough. I please ask all of you, uh, if you're not vaccinated, to please get vaccinated. The vaccine, vaccine is making a difference. And I know at a time, this is not where we had hoped to be this fall in this pandemic, um, but I do, uh, I wanna acknowledge our great healthcare teams here at the University of Utah, hospitals and clinics, University of Utah Health, uh, but also our colleagues at uh, Intermountain Health, Stewart Health, uh, HCA, all the healthcare professionals that are coming together to provide this care. I know the pandemic is wearing on us, uh, but I just, I do wanna remind everyone, pandemics end, this pandemic will eventually end, uh, that vaccination is such an important part uh, of that, uh, uh, way we get to that ending of a pandemic. But as you hopefully are reading, there's many uh, articles being written uh, about the path to ending a pandemic. And I just wanna close this week reminding everybody, pandemics end, this one will also. We just need to continue to work together and do things uh, together and to do things individually in our personal lives, particularly vaccination, separation, uh, wearing face masks, especially when we're indoors around others um, and uh, uh, other public health measures. And we will get this pandemic to an end as well. 
that's our update for August 31st, 2021. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with another update uh, or sooner should conditions change. Have a good week.